Jesus was in the beginning of his ministry and things were going great. In fact, he had just fed the 5,000s with fish and loaves and the crowds, they were huge. They wanted to make him a king. And Jesus kind of stopped everything and listened to the statement he made from the Gospel of John chapter six. He says, you seek me not because you saw the signs, because you ate of the loaves and were filled. He said, you're just after me because I gave you food. Don't fill your stomach with those things that perish, but with eternal food. And he went on to challenge them that it's not about following Jesus for the blessings, for the food, for all that he can do for you. In fact, he said, what I really want is a relationship. And I want it to be like you drink of my blood and eat of my flesh. I want us to have an intimacy together. I want us to be connected together. And he began to describe who he was. And the people listened. And it says from that time, many of his disciples went back and they didn't walk with him anymore because really what they were interested in is Jesus, what can you do for me? And Jesus said, it's not all about that. It's about you and I being in relationship. And so he turned to his disciples. And I think Jesus was very serious when he did this. He said to the 12, do you also want to go away? And it was Simon Peter, he said, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. And also we have come to believe and know that you are the Christ, the son of the living God. And that's an amazing passage of scripture to me that when we, if we're not careful, get all caught up in what he can do for us, and Jesus kind of turns the tables and says, no, it's not just about that. And he challenges us. And then he says, do you want to go away? And I love what Peter said. He said this, and this perhaps echoes in your heart, it certainly does in mine. Where would I go? You alone have the words of eternal life. And when I look back and start to drift around, I think, you know what, where would I go? There's nowhere else to go. I found the truth, I found the one, I found the Christ, the Son of the living God. And there's no going back, and there's nowhere else to go. He's called us into a relationship. Mm -hmm.